AMD recently announced their Zen 3 Ryzen 5000 CPUs, but there's a little bit of a problem. In general, their MSRP is 50 bucks more expensive than previous generation. The Ryzen 5600 should come in at a cheaper price. It's only speculation at this point, but should you wait for a CPU like that instead of getting the more expensive X variants, I'm going to give you the five reasons why maybe you should. Let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button. Let's get right into the video. Zen 3 was recently announced and at an MSRP on average of $50 more than the Ryzen 3000 series, it's certainly a lot more expensive than a lot of gamers will be able to fit in their budget. The cheapest Zen 3 CPU announced so far is gonna be the 5600X, coming in at $299, and they only go up from there. So that means budget gamers or people not looking to spend a lot on their CPU, what should you do? Let's talk about the five reasons why you may want to wait for AMD to announce and release the next set of CPUs that are going to be a little bit more budget friendly. The first thing is going to be performance. Now the 5600X, when the 5600 comes, if it's going to be anything like the 3600 versus the 3600X, the X variant is generally really not worth that extra bump in price. Basically all of the AMD uh, CPUs are going to be overclockable, unlike in Intel, which locks their CPUs. So that means that you can actually bump up the performance of your Ryzen 5600 to pretty much identical to the 5600X. Now, of course, the 5600X is going to be probably a little bit better bin CPU, but in general, you can get the numbers pretty comparable all at the same time while saving money. The second reason why you should certainly wait for the Ryzen 5600, it's rumored to possibly come in at $220. Maybe it might go up to $250. Well, those savings that you get from not getting something more expensive like a Ryzen 5600X, you can put towards your GPU. A lot of people ask, what type of CPU should I pair with a 3070, 3080, or even AMD's big Navi GPUs that are coming out? I always say, first, max out your budget on the GPU. That's going to give you the best performance possible. So if you're borderline from upgrading from something like a 3070, maybe going to a 3080, Focus your budget on that, and then whatever you have left over, focus on your CPU. So that rounds out the second reason to get the 5600. Those savings can translate into a better GPU. And of course, like we mentioned in the first reason, performance is close enough that it's not really going to give you any more of a bottleneck, especially after it's overclocked. The third good reason that you should wait for one of AMD's cheaper CPUs coming out from Ryzen 3, and that's going to be because even something like the 5600 is going to give you a significant performance upgrade over the current generation 3600, maybe even a 3700X, because Zen 3 has multiple advancements in its architecture that are very beneficial for gaming, much better IPC, much lower latency, and of course, much higher boost clocks that are going to be very beneficial anytime you're playing games. That's why Intel was able to remain the gaming king for so long as AMD got closer and closer. But now Zen 3 has a lot of those same improvements present in those Intel chips, therefore making them not only great multi-threaded performers, but also excellent single core gaming beasts. In fact, AMD even said that the 5900X is the new gaming king, beating the current 10900K. So even if you don't get that, of course the 5600, not even the X version, is going to gain considerably better than a 3600. Of course, it's speculation. We have to wait for benchmarks, but from what we've seen so far from the 5600X and likewise with the Zen 3 architecture, for sure, they're going to have massive improvements in this category. The fourth reason why you may want to consider waiting for the cheaper Zen 3 budget CPUs even those are going to be targeted specifically at the gamer and enthusiast. AMD is making a big splash about being very gamer centric, very focused on the enthusiast. And that's certainly going to mean many things in the future, along with optimal updates for BIOS and the AMD software. Hopefully they can keep that focused on gaming, judging by how they're really targeting the gamer and enthusiast who really help turn things around from the competition with Intel. I think the future looks good to be in an AMD platform, not to mention, motherboards and motherboard support has continued to improve with the Ryzen processors. Even the Ryzen 3000 generation saw the high-end motherboards finally come back. Stuff like the X570 Godlike and even the Asus formula. So that means that 
being within the AMD ecosystem, especially getting in with one of the cheaper CPUs like the 5600, you're basically going to have a lot of those benefits as well, while playing considerably less for a CPU like the 5600, which is still going to perform great, you can still overclock it, and like we mentioned before, those savings can be put towards a more powerful GPU. And then the last reason that we'll talk about, yes, it's great to wait for the little bit more budget CPUs that still have great performance like the 5600, save some money, but also when Zen 3 comes out, the current generation is going to drop in price considerably, not only AMD, but also Intel, like we mentioned before. The 9900K, specifically at Micro Center, is now $299, and the 9700K is $199, which for pure gaming CPUs with cheaper Z390 motherboards are fantastic value propositions. Of course, the 5600 is going to be a much improved gaming CPU, but there certainly still are used and older generation CPUs on the market that are still going to beat that, especially from Intel. And if you want to do something AMD, I would keep your eye on sort of the used market prices for the current generation CPUs, it's possible you may be able to find something like a 3800 XT or even a 3900 X for a much cheaper value price. As soon as the new Zen 3 comes out, all of those people maybe will sell their old CPUs. Retailers will put on maybe a fire sale to get rid of the older Ryzen stock in order to make room for the new CPUs. I've certainly seen the AMD CPUs go on a lot more sales than I've seen Intel. Intel seems like maybe they decrease supply instead of reducing the, the price. In the past, Intel has been more reluctant to reduce prices on CPUs, but certainly they've been forced to more and more now. Sometimes they just won't sell them. You'll see Intel CPUs start to disappear instead of lower prices, but a few, like the 9900K, even the big 18-core 10980XC, I've seen that price go down and down at Micro Center, and AMD, ever since the first generation Ryzen, when something new comes out, definitely the prices have gone down a lot faster, so keep an eye on one of the Ryzen 3000 CPUs. You may actually find something that while it may not be the best for gaming you may get a really good performance value for your dollar all right guys so i hope you enjoyed these couple of insights on potentially waiting for the ryzen 5600 let's see what happens with the launches of the cpus that were announced that are coming up soon and we'll also see whenever this one is going to be announced it should be soon they certainly have to fill in that budget gap in the market so i'll see you guys on the next video and remember to smash that like button